Hi, this is Joe from joesinternetmarketing.com and we are in, oof, I don't know what we're into, what video this is, but we're tweaking our WordPress installation on our new website. Uh, I had a domain name, base, beginnerbassplayer.com. We installed it, we got it, changed the DNS with GoDaddy, we installed it, and we're in the middle of tweaking our WordPress installation. Right now what we're doing is we're about to change the custom header and we just downloaded a, a, a stock image from the stock exchange at sxc.hu. These have, uh, it's a great site that has some um, free, royalty free, free royalty free images um, that you can use on your website. So we've got, we found an image and now what I want to do is I need to open it up in my image editing software and I use, uh, personally I use Photoshop. Um, it's an expensive program, so you may not be able to you, you may not be able to afford this. There's others out there. There is uh, the GIMP. There is um, oh, what is it? there's another one that works really good. Um, if you just Google image editing software, there's a there's a, a slew of different um, uh, image editing applications out there for your computer. So I'm going to open my image and let's see here on my desktop we saved it as bass guitar let's open that up and there's our image there's our basic image now this if you look up here this is 16.7 percent so I mean it's it's a big image and if we go back to our browser we need to be 940 wide by 198 so it's 940 wide by 198 high and that's for this particular theme. We're working with the default theme that comes with WordPress for now. So let's go back to Photoshop and let's make our image. Let's see, how are we going to do this? Um, I want to change the image size. And right now it's, it's this giant thing. So um, we need to be 940 by 198. So we can change the width to be 940 and that makes it 627 high and then we can just kind of crop it down from there so let's resize this image and then um, let's make it a little bit bigger here okay so there we are at a hundred percent so now what we need to do is and I'm not the greatest you guys I'm not the greatest uh, Photoshop person I get around but uh, I want to crop this out a little bit um, let's see, I like that, like this, I think. Let's move this around. That looks pretty good. Let's see how that, that looks. So there we are. Now what's our image size? Our image size is 940 by 266, and we need to be 198, so we're closer. So now... And, and there's probably a better way than the way I'm doing it. Uh, like I said, I'm not a I'm not a, a Photoshop guy. Um, <clears throat> so if we do 940 by 198, so I'm just going to let I'm going to reduce the canvas size. This is going to clip this down from both sides evenly, equally. I actually think I want it to maybe come up from the bottom. So I'm going to have it clip up from the bottom. I'm going to anchor the top. Let's try that, 198. That's going to clip up and then bam. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I like that. So now our image size should be 940 by 198. Good. Okay, and that's what it needs to be. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to do File, Save for Web. And what this is going to do is this is going to optimize it for web. You can look down here as up here as it says JPEG. And if you look JPEG, we're at 10K. You want to get this down as, tweak this down as much as you can. Now it's a photo, so JPEG's probably the best. Um, if I make it a GIF, it's 91K. Ooh, that's pretty big. PNG, 91K. PNG, 8, 97K. Okay, JPEG, 10. And I'm at a medium compression, so that sounds good. So I'll just save this. I'm going to save it to my desktop as bassguitar.jpg. Yeah, replace the original. There we go. Okay. So we're good. So I'm going to just close out Photoshop now. Nah. And I'm going to browse. 
I'll look on my desktop for bass guitar. Boom, and I'm going to upload it. There we go. That looks good. I like that. And save changes. Don't forget to save changes. So now, if we go back to our bass guitar, do a little refresh. There, that looks pretty cool. Nice image. So, <clears throat> now we still need to find some articles and we need to tweak the rest of our our WordPress installation. Um, but we got the header gone and uh, in our next video we're going to finish up tweaking up the, uh, the WordPress uh, and then start looking for some article content. So this is Joe from joesinternetmarketing.com and I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you again soon. Thanks. Bye.